Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Grenade, and today I'm giving away a free outro, and you guys can edit it to your liking, you guys can fix it to however you want, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So, um, to kind of start off things, I'm making a brand new website, and in this website I'll have a bunch of free outros, intros, logos, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, they're all going to be free, so you can, you know, look forward to that, um, other than that, uh, let's just get started, and this is, I guess, the promotion of my brand new website. So, um, I'll be uploading a special video for my website, you know, talking about it, um, what it's called. As of right now, it's just my website, because I, I don't want to give the name out, because, uh, you know, it's not even done yet, so I don't want you guys to go just, you know, look, open it up and be disappointed of all the crap I haven't done yet. So, um, today, I'm probably going to finish that, and um, today, I'm going to show you exactly how to you know, fix this outro. And um, as of today, I'll have a link in the description to where you can download this off of Mediafire. But once I get my website running, you have to go check out my website. So like I said, I'll make a video updating you guys with the website details and stuff like that. So uh, let's get right into it. So uh, one of the first things that you'll probably need is the actual template. I have it opened up right here. And um, this is a universal template that, uh, let's just open it up here. This is a universal template that you can use with any game, um, any anything at all, like literally anything. Like if you're a singer on YouTube, you can change it to a microphone. If you are a gamer like me, you can change it to some sort of game. If you cook, you can change it to that. Um, this is a universal outro, and it's one of the things I'm really proud of and the things that um, I think are really great. So... Um, like I said, um, we got to open it up first of all. And then, um, right here I got, uh, I put you got I put a little kind of slide here showing you guys and it says, thanks for downloading. Now you can delete this by deleting the folder. Thanks and good luck again. All right. So, um, what you got to do is just delete that folder right there. And here you're greeted with my, um, customized outro. And, um, obviously your name's not Grenader, so you're gonna have to change all this stuff. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. All right. So first of all, you probably want to uh, zoom in here, control plus, and you can zoom in here. And, uh, one of the things you want to do is change the social media because I don't think we have the, so the same social media. So, um, as you can see, I have everything color coded, everything in green, you can change, but everything in red, you can't. If you change anything in red, you're going to mess it up. So uh, leave it, um, just don't touch it. And then uh, let's start with the social media. Yeah. All right, so social media. Um, if you don't know which which is which, just like turn off the eyeball and turn it back on. This will obviously show you what's what. And so um, I color coded it. So the orange right here are the um, like the actual websites and the social media and all that stuff. Uh, the orange ones down here. Um, or the yellow ones, I guess you could say, are the ones you're going to change. So, uh, Twitter link, you want to change the Twitter link, which is down here. You can change it to whatever. So, um, I'm just going to change it to blah or blah, whatever, blah. And I'm going to copy that and control C. And then I'm just doing this because I don't want to rewrite blah. All right. So, uh, just hold shift and you can shift it along this little axis here, or this little line. And just kind of give it some space, and there you go. And then Instagram link, same thing. Get your text tool, uh, select it. Um, don't delete the little um, hash sort of slide thing. So I don't know. I think the backspace. I don't know what it's called. Um, forward slash, whatever. Um, and like I said, just hold shift and just push that back. Uh, the YouTube one, obviously, you can just change it to whatever you want. Um, I'm just doing blah, just so you can see that if you shorten the name, it's going to end up in the middle of the screen, which you don't want that. So you just want to shift and push that back. And there you go. You're already done with uh, the social media here. And um, now what you can do is that you can close this up. You're done with that. And let me just show you what it does if you take off one of these things I didn't tell you to touch. So as you can see here, it takes them off. So don't touch it unless you don't want to mess this up. So um, top text, this is the top text up here. Uh, the previous, you can change that to like best or random or like I have it. 
you could just change the text up here to your liking. Uh, the name you obviously want to change. Um, what you want to do is just uh, make sure you have your change the name selected. Click on it. And you can keep the exclamation point or the exclamation mark. You don't have to, but if you want to. Uh, again, my name is Blah. So um, it minimized. So I'm going to do Control Z and see this number up here, 242.58. Uh, remember that, just like 243, I guess. So you know, Control V. And then you want to select everything and change it to 243. And there you go. Uh, you can add the exclamation point or the mark, whatever you call it, if you want to. There you go. Blah. And then um, if you're going to use it for advanced warfare, just leave it like it is. It's that easy. Um, nothing to change here. Um, if you're going to play a different game, then this is where um, actually you should just change the logo. So you're done okay if you're gonna use it for advanced warfare you're done um, all you gotta do is just uh, overlay your video on top of these black squares and you're done it looks beautiful marvelous you put some music behind it and then quack. Um, if you want to change it like I said this is universal how do you change this so if you see uh, down here it says change BG which stands for background and that's the entire background literally the entire background so what I've done for you today is that I've gone to Google and uh, googled cows in 1080p and just to prove to you guys that this works with literally anything, like any picture, any type. So let's say we're all farmers, you know. So we're just going to make a farming channel and then call this a blah and then just let it download. It's done downloading. So we're going to go back into Photoshop and we're going to place the picture. That's if, you know, Photoshop comes back up, which it's being a little butt, but there it is. All right. Uh, make it bigger. We're going to make sure that we have the change BG selected. We're going to do file and we're going to go place and we're going to go find the picture. So there's black hit play or not play place. And there you go. Just hit enter. And then there you go, guys. Uh, turn off the, the layer that's behind it. As you can see up here uh, where the mouse is right here, there's like a little um, space there. So you want to make sure that you uh, make like kind of fit it because I know it's 1080p and all, but you need a hit control T this is what I do I mean little things like this drive me nuts so um, I have the block selected control T uh, stretch this out just a little bit more uh, so it covers up the entire picture the entire frame and uh, there you go so you got a cow emblem or whatever and if you want to change the logo um, let's see uh, cows let's do cow logo PNG just <laughs> let's see what random thing pops up okay uh da, 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 da. let's do this one just random okay uh i think that's not transparent hang on let's do a normal cow normal cow no 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 okay hang on hang on guys we need to find something that's transparent here um let's just do this one see if it works save image enter uh go back into photoshop and then go where it says um, AW logo and then go file go place and then hit the cow yes that's transparent all right then you just I guess put this up here to your liking hit enter and then you can just turn off the advanced warfare layer just delete it wholly or whatever uh, the cow logo can go right here it should go like in between these little lines here this little corner and um, if the just kind of change it to your to make it look good so it doesn't look good when the logo is like covering up or the not your logo when your name's covering up the logo that doesn't really good uh, fuck. you don't want your text covering up your logo so just keep it under your logo or you know what just do whatever you want I guess this looks fine right there it's covering it up but not too much not too uh, too many things right there so I guess we're done here and yeah i think we're done here um if I, you know some of you are probably going to ask how you change the color and stuff like that of the text um to be honest um what i did is that this is a stroke and the stroke is at a lower opacity so it blends in with the background so if you don't like how that looks just go to stroke and change the color of the stroke so i guess we could do red for whatever Thing we're doing let's do blue let's go blue right here hit okay hit okay oh there it is for that one and I guess you could just drag it on to the other one drag it on to the other one 
And there you go, it's just black. And then um, it doesn't look so well because of the gray and the white because that's uh, the like the little kind of glow or the gradient, I mean. And um, it doesn't look so good because of the angle. So if you want to, you can change the angle. I think I'm on the right one. Hang on. Hit OK. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. Um, let's go to change name. Uh, double click. And then we're going to go to gradient. And then start messing around with this number. And you just hit your arrow keys and it like kind of tilts. So that way you can be a bit more precise on your thing. So just like take it down, like make it until it, until like it's barely visible. And that gives it like a sort of like shiny reflective look. And same for the bottom text. I messed that up. So I need to go over here to gradient overlay. Instead of 75 uh, degrees. You want to add some more degrees, make sure it spins. Come on. Spin, dog. Spin. All right, just put it back. And there you go. Um, same thing with previous if you want to. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's the that's actually how you can change the color of the text, how you can change the background, the logo, the social media. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and all that good stuff. If you guys like these types of videos, make sure to uh, show support by leaving a like. If um, you have something to say, leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And this is pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.